this is legit kev and i'm back with a new black desert online guide so right now i'm here at sand ground and we're going to go to desert naga temple over there this is the Marnie guy right here if you want to buy any mining great. stones for extra xp so desert naga desert naga 2 let me grab a couple of those So this is going to be the best route, the best possible way that you can grind this Desert Naga Temple. Also, I'm going to show you two or three different routes. So depending on whether there's lots of people here, you know, you can get a better grind. And depending on how many you can kill, how fast you can kill them. So the first route I'm going to show you is just a big circle around here. So you firstly take this lot out, you jump over here, take them, take this lot here. Obviously you're going to clear the mobs properly. I'm just going to demonstrate quickly where to go. Straight across here. Clear anything up that's following you like that. Just jump to this lot, straight back down here, over to them, Get this circle out here, we'll go that way but if they're not respawning in time you can come down here and there's a ton more mobs here, all over the place down here loads over there and then you just come back up here and then you continue round so that, that was the last one we did there and then you do this group and over to these big ones and this is almost back at the start just another couple of packs over here you can get those if you want, if you still need more time for it. But then we're pretty much back round to the start. So, let's get, right, so that's sand grain. So we started here, we just did a big circle. And I showed you the extra bit, in case they're not respawned yet. So you could do that. Now what I'm gonna do is show you the second route which is a bit further out so that was sand grain behind us there so we're the same route we just come straight down here this is the easiest way I know to get over there so you can take all this out on your way literally just follow the path I'm going You can come out there, there, doesn't matter, but come this way. You want to aim for this pack of mobs over here. And then take the outer skirts. You can cross over here, doesn't really matter, but you're going round these rocks here. Let's put my weapon away a bit faster. So you're just following these rocks on the outside. I think they add their odd mobs so that you can get your health back if you need it. Because you notice down the bottom there, I've got nine minutes of sunburn or dehydration or something. It's taking my health down. So when you finally get here, it's the Marnie guys right here. That's the money guy. And then you know you're here because you see these mobs in this gap here. This is where you want to be. So the second route is literally just cover this entire like this plane out here. This whole area is just full of mobs. You can literally just go pack to pack. Just do a big circle. However, I don't like doing that. 
because I find there's a lot more when you go to this next route up here. So you could call that a second route. Just literally cover this whole area in a big circle. But the route I like is up here. So I would come from there because I'm doing a circle. So that would be my first pack. Just here. Then I'll be taking this pack out which was just here. Then there was a pack just here we take. And then we jump over to this one. These generally follow you as well, so you can literally just kill all of them. Right, straight onto this bit here. These normally follow you down. Over this way, take out these. Dive straight on these ones. And here, every now and then I like to just clear up what's following. Because there can be quite a few. Onto this pack, and then knock out all these. And we've got a nice size pack there, and there. And I jump straight over to this bit. Take these out. And usually, I know I used it, but my Black Spirit Rage, usually I'd use it here. So I'd gather all those up, and hit my Black Spirit Rage here. Destroy everything there. Then I dive over to this pack here. And just follow this round. I'm not going to kill all of them because it's going to take too long. But you see what I mean? You can kill them all when you're doing it properly. Right, from there I dive across. Because there's a pack here. And then I go straight to these two. Three. They should pretty much all follow. So I get them all gathered here. He got in the way there, but take them ones out there. And you can dive on these lot. These are going to follow you up. So then I can jump on them. Usually I like to spin these ones straight onto this side pack here there are some ancient mobs that spawn here now for some reason they're pretty hard but I jump onto these ones here there's a little pack here in the middle then I wind all these up here try and get as much as I can in this gap here Then I dive down to this one. Take out these here. And these bit. This also is somewhere I'll use Black Spirit Rage if I've still got it. So I'll just do that. Now you've got an option. You can either just jump over the mountain there. And you're back to the start. Or the way I like to do it is go this way. Just in case there's a pack of mobs or anything you've missed. So there's a couple here. And there's a little pack here. Sometimes you miss a load because they just don't run in, into the space where you want them. And then you back round to the start. So this is the best route here. The best one definitely for Nagas. Go on to this pack. Clear them up behind us. Straight over here, onto this bit, and just continue it all the way around again and again. So, I hope this helped. This has been Desert Naga, the best grind route possible. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.